Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. How the devil are you? Today, big smile on my face, because it's new build day. What's better than new build day is new James Bond car build day. We have got the Spy Who Loved Me, Lotus Esprit for Magora Models. This out. I love how Agora models have got these reversible boxes. So when you get it, it's the brown box that you know you recognize, but you can turn it round and turn it into a box like this so you can keep all your parts nice and safe in this. Now, this is shipping right now. So if you haven't subscribed to this or you do want to get this for yourself, just follow the link in the video description or the QR code on the screen and you'll be able to get this and build along with me. Now, uh, no stranger to Agora models builds, each build does come with a brochure like this. So I'm going to show you that now. So this is the brochure here. Check that out. Looking just like this. 1.8 scale. A uh, little bit about the car here. Now if I just turn this to the back. It does detail the Agora Vantage Club. So if you have ordered from Agora models before. Uh, you do get some advantages if you order another model now. And we've also got the Agora Promise. Which basically says once a model has gone into production. They will see it through to the end. So that's uh, all detailed there. Now I'm going to have to zoom my camera out. Because this opens out into this massive section here looking like that. So we have got a remote on here. Little bit of details for you. It's 56 centimetres in length or 22 inches. 6 kilograms or 13 pounds. And some of the uh, features that it's actually got is the angle display stand, rudders and fins, motorised propellers, a louved metal screens, periscope, surface to air missiles, a front mounted torpedoes, the working front and rear lights, the jet sprayer and nautical controls look absolutely brilliant but what's even better about these is these open out into posters and i've already looked at this <laughs> that's what's smiling look check this out i really want to put this one up but i've only got room for a portrait poster in here but that is a brilliant poster isn't it i can't wait to build this this was one of my favourite James Bond's cars. And I've been waiting for years for this to finally get released. So obviously, as soon as this arrived, I wanted to get onto it straight away, which is exactly what I'm doing today. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So this is stage one, and we're going to be assembling the bonnet. Check that out. The paintwork looks flawless on this. Let's get this open. And this is everything open here. I'm going to try and show you how flawless this actually is. Check that out in the light there. And that's what it looks like from behind. Now in this first stage, we also get a screwdriver. This is a PH0 screwdriver. Uh, if you haven't got one, and obviously this is great to use, I will be using my own one for this build though. The first thing we've got is a bracket here looking just like this, which is going to be going onto the bonnet subframe. It actually goes onto this section just here and it goes through here, pushed over the two lugs that we've got on this side. So as you can see, it comes up through that side just there. I then want to bring up my soft mat. And in this case, this one's from Partwork Upgrades, as you can see there. Take this perfect bonnet, turn it upside down. We're going to be putting a grill into this section just here. This is what that looks like. Solid metal again. It's just going to fit into that little alcove there. And then we're going to be holding that into place by putting this over the top, just like that. That's going to pin that grill into place. And I'm holding that in with DS20 screws. So if you've watched the channel long enough, I do dip just the very tips of these in some oil. It just makes your life easier when you're actually putting this into metal, as these are metal screws. As you can see, that goes in perfectly. So we've got two here, two down the bottom. And there we go. With that done, that's all there is to do in that stage. Here is the pack for stage two. Looks like we're going to be doing the front bumper there. And again, I just want you to see this metal wing section that we've got here. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'm going to put that to one side because it's this section that I need first where we're going to actually start putting the lenses in for the lights. Now, this is labelled L and R, so we know what side's what. So I've it around this way, this is on my right side. And then I wanna take this lens, which has got the indent on this side, so that can drop into the right side. So that's looking 
like that and do exactly the same on the left side here as well. Now to keep them in place, I'm looking for the reflector, which is stamped with an R. So that's going to be going on the right side there. And this one here is stamped with an L. That's going to go on that side just there. Put that gently down. Open these screws. Now these are PSO2 screws. It's going into plastic, so no oil. Just screw this straight in. Probably going to use my PH1 screwdriver actually. It fits these screws better. Perfect, that's one side. Let's do the other side here. And that is looking pretty cool. Look, check that out. <laughs> okay, bring over these wings here. And this is just going to be following the shape of what we've got here. So this is just going to be going on top just like that there. Fits nicely in there. This time I want to take two of these silver PSO2 screws and put one in here. And I'll keep that nice and tight onto this section and one just in this side here. Make sure it's flush on both sides. When that's in, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we're doing a little bit of everything in pack one because we're going to be starting the engine cylinder head here as you can see so let's get this open so first thing i need in this bag here we've got the cam cover caps let's just uh take these out and quite simply all we're going to do is we're going to take one of these it has got a locating lug and just push this into the end like that now it's held in with a ps01 screw that's these screws here so let's get this one in, that's one here. Then on the other end of this, we have got a gear to put in looking just like this here. That's gonna go in the end. And this time, it's held in with a PSO2 screw. So I've got that here, get that nice and tight, make sure it's in straight, and there we go. That's how that looks. We've got two of these. So I'm gonna repeat exactly what I've just done. So again, I take the can cam, cap here that's going on the end PSO1 screw to secure that side in and then this gear onto this side here screwed in with a PSO2 screw just like that so that's two of those completed put that to one side and now I want to bring over these covers they look pretty cool, don't they? Now one of these has a hole for a filler cap there. And I've got that filler cap just here. So putting that on, it has got a little keyhole pattern as you can see on the top camera there. So that goes in, it's held in from the other side. Once again with a PSO2 screw. Perfect. And then we want the cam cover marked with an R, because this is going to be going into here. We want the filler cap to be going the opposite end to the gear, so it's going in this way. The locating lug through the center is going to help you with that. And once again, I need these PSO2 screws to secure these together. So on this side here, I think I am going to use my PH1 screwdriver on these. Again, you get better torque with a bigger screwdriver. So that's now looking like that. And we do exactly the same with the left hand side one. Again, the lug will dictate which way round it goes because it is off center there. And again, some PSO2 screws just to secure these into place. So that's two of those completed. All we've got then is the cylinder head looking like this and we have got some spark plugs and these are going to be pushed into the holes at the top here. Now I just want to see how, oh they are really really uh, tight going in here, you're not going to need to glue these. So that's two, three and four. Once we've got this I want to hold this this way take the cylinder cover with the oil filler cap on here and we're just going to be putting that onto this side just there 
like that. Once again, turning it over, PSO2 screws to hold that into place. One there, and one this side. That's looking perfect. And then we just do exactly the same thing on the other side. And then PSO2 screws to hold that one in as well. And it's pretty quick what we've created there, but check that out. That's all there is to do in that stage. And that brings us over to another rigid pack, which is stage four. And as you can see here, we're gonna be doing the first door. I love that door. Okay, rather than bring the full size mat up, I will just bring up this soft cloth from the Gore Models. Because the first thing I need is the door. <laughs> Check that out. Okay, what I want to do is take the handle here. I'm going to be putting the handle just into that section like that. <laughs> I love that detail. And I'm going to be screwing this in just from the other side with a PSO2 screw. Just hold that from the other side while you screw this in. And there we go. That's in nice and tight. Now we've got two brackets here. We've got a thin one and a thick one. It's the thin one that I want now. That's going to go just at the top of this section right there. I want to screw that in with DS23 screws. Once again, these are going into metal. So I'll drop that in a tiny bit of oil. I want to put these in tight. Now this is going to be the door mechanism that's going to keep the door closed. Perfect. I then want this door bolt looking like this. And we've got a spring and that's going to go over the shorter end there. Just like that. Put that through the bracket we just put in. So the spring and the short section, oh, that's just fallen off. Let's put, thread that back in. It's just going to fit in there just like that there. I've zoomed up my top camera a little bit so you can see that. And then I'm holding that in with the other bracket going onto the other side. It's actually going to be going with the screw. Screws are actually towards one edge. So they're going to be towards the closest edge on this side here. Again, it's DS23 screws. I am going to need to compress it just a bit like that. And then get this in. You do want to make sure that when you put this bracket in, you don't trap any of the spring underneath this because you want the full tension of the spring between this section so that it can have that springiness like that. All that's left to do then is just to move that slightly down there. Then I just want to take the hinge looking like that, ensure it's this way round. So when it's in, it's looking just like that there. To keep that into place, I've got this metal brace, which is going to go over the top here like that and that's held in with one of these flanged ds05 screws that i've got here and get that nice and tight so when that's in when the door's closed you can see there's no problems with that going at a 90 degree angle it's going to keep it sharp to the bodywork there when it opens it's going to be in that position the last thing on this stage is the glazing here for the car it's just going to go over these two central stalk lugs here, one and two. And again, I'm going to be using the flange screws. Notice I didn't touch the glazing there to get this in. So one this side. Again, don't put this too tight because if you go too tight with it, you're going to crack the plastic, which you don't want to do. So that's tight enough. And just one this side. Perfect. And that is the start of one of the doors. In stage five, we're still working on the door, but we're going to start on the inner door trim panel. And you've got to love how this screams 80s now because we've got the tartan pattern from the inside here. <laughs> I love that. Okay, this is gonna go in here just like that there. Turn it over and it's held in with a PS05 screw, which looks like this. Two screws, one here and one here. 
once I've got that, put that to one side. Let me bring you out now the inner door handles. And the first thing I want to do is I want to take this fascia here and put it into the holes that we can see around the handle. So once this is in, this is just a push in, should fit flush in there. So you can see the lugs coming out the other side, but that's what it looks like from that side. This is then going to be going into the cavity that we can see here. It can only go one way around, so if it's flush. And once again, a PS05 screw, just to hold that into place from this side. And then I just want to take this bracket here, which enables you to shut the door. Put that into the cavity just there like that. Different screw this time, PS09. And then that's just screwed in from this side just here. And with that into position, that's the inner door trim done. So in the last stage of this pack, we're gonna actually complete that door. So we've got some more trim panels here. Again, I'm gonna put my little cloth down this time. Bring over that door. I wanna put this inner trim frame onto this section here. Now I'm just lining everything up. What you'll notice is that, as you see, there is a notch here for that door mechanism to come through. I'm holding that in with four DS02 screws. So again, we're going into metal, bit of oil, and I am using my PH1 screwdriver. Now, just where the locking mechanism is here, we've got this guard, which is gonna go over the top, but it's just a clip in, like that. And it's also held in with a PS01 screw. So I've got that loaded up here, silver screw this is, that's just gonna go into the side here. That'll keep that into place. Nice and tight. All that's left to do is then to take the inner trim that we created. We've got clips on each side here, which are just gonna go into these sections here and here. So clip it into place. One and two. And there we go. That is the door complete. And that's all there is to do in that pack. And there you go. We've done quite a bit today. As you see, we've done the bumper. We've done some of the engine. We've done the bonnet. And we've done the door there. So uh, absolutely brilliant. Now, if you do want to get this for yourself once again, I'll put a link in the video description. And there's a QR code on the screen you can build along with me. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please, please, please click that subscribe button. You'll be notified every time there's a new video out, including the next one in this build series. But other than that, take care.